Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about how to solve equations with integers using the addition and subtraction properties of equality. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. We're given this problem here, solve y plus 9 equals 5. Well, the addition property of equality, or subtraction property of equality, tells us we can add or subtract the same number to both sides of the equation. And my goal is to get y by itself. So I have, well, y plus 9, I'm going to give it a little space, equals 5. If I want to remove the 9 and bring it to the right-hand side, well, opposite of adding a 9, subtracting a 9. So if I want to get rid of it, I subtract a 9 to both sides. On the left, 9 minus 9 is 0, we're good. I'll we'll multiply by itself. What about 5 minus 9? Hmm. Well, 9 is more, well, how do we take 9 from 5? This minus a 9, we want to find the difference between the two numbers. We know the number is going to end up being negative. 5 minus a 9 is going to be negative because 9 is going to be more than 5, pulling it negative. So if I find the difference, 9 and 5, I subtract the 2, that's easier. That's a 4. But if it's going to be more negative, it's going to be a negative 4 right there. So 5 minus 9 is a negative 4 right there. Now let's go check that. We got our answer. y equals negative 4. Let's see if it's right. How to check it. I take negative 4. I'm going to plug it in for y. Negative 4 plus 9 equals 5. In our equation, the y plus 9 equals 5. And we're going to simplify. Negative 4 plus 9 is a positive 5. And our left and right hand side equal? Yes, it is. So therefore, we confirm that our solution here is y equals a negative 4. I hope you learned something here on how to solve equations with integers using the addition and subtraction properties of equality. If you did, make sure you like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. This helps us make more of these free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching.